right, so uh, right now, 8S is working on 9.3 problem number one. And uh, this is incredibly important to remember. It's from page, what page is it? Remember that always. All right, so up here, x squared minus one, there is no bx here. So this it, parabola is going to center on the y-axis. That is your axis of symmetry. But there is a c, and it's a negative one, so it's going to start down here, and it's positive, so it's going to curve up. And we see that it crosses the x-axis twice. So it has two solutions. This one over here has no um, BX or C. It will start at the origin and it's positive, so it's going to go up. And it has just one solution. Over here, um, there is a C again and still no BX. Uh, we see that it is positive, so it's going to start here, and it's going to go up. It has no solutions, because it doesn't cross the x-axis. There's the page. Um, I'd like you to try the goddess for number one, and that would be, and that's graphing them. x squared minus 16 equals 0, x squared, oh, 3x squared plus 6 equals 0, and finally, x squared minus 25 equals negative 25. Hmm. This one's interesting right here. What would I do? I guess what I'd do is I'd try Desmos and see what that looks like. <laughs> but also you can try on your own. You see that, again, this corresponds to this one. And it looks like it's going to have two solutions. And it's going to start way down at six, negative 16 on the y-axis. This one... Really, it looks like it's not going to have any solutions because it's got a positive 6, and it's going to be a very narrow parabola because that's got a 3 instead of a 1. Over here, I think I'd have to move this over here. So I'd do that by adding 25 on both sides. Oops. And that gives me hmm, x equals 0, x squared equals 0. So I guess that must correspond to this one, which gives me one solution. Hmm, how do you like that? Bastante. Okay, so now we're working on problem number 2 on 9.3. <clears throat> and that's called solving uh, equations using square roots. And we've got an example here of 3x squared minus 75 equals 0. I think that my first move is going to move this over. And then, of course, rewrite. 3x now equals 7 3x squared now equals 75. Hmm. I think I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So now, x squared equals 25. Hmm. 
So I am going to take the square root of both sides Now, the square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 25 is 5. But you also must remember that it could have been negative 5. So it's plus or minus 5. And that's sort of fun, right? The got it's over here is uh got it number two is m squared minus 36 equals zero three x squared plus 15 equals zero Hmm. And finally, 4d squared plus 16 equals 16. Alert. Alert here. Watch this, Santi. Okay? You move this over, it becomes positive, doesn't it? So it's three. Uh, it's m squared equals 36. Yes, you can take the square root of both of those. And you'll find that it's plus or minus 6. Over here, you want to follow the same pattern. So you want to move that 15 over. But then you're going to have 3x squared equals negative 15. And at this point in your journey through Algebra 1, you're not ready to deal with the square roots of negative numbers. So this one has no solution. Remember that always. Over here, you can move that over and you've got 4d squared equals 0. You're okay with that. So try these out. Check them on Desmos, and um, that's it for this section right now.